Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be talking to you guys today. I think I say that in every video. I wanted to do a video where I could kind of talk about different free resources to start learning code and the best ways to go about it when you're kind of just thinking, do I want to you know, get involved in coding, this is kind of the path I want to go down, um, without having to spend a lot of money because I think there are so many great free resources out there, especially to start off with, that if you didn't do the traditional path of going to computer science or something like that, that you can really um, pick up a lot of the good basics or even really um, become an incredible developer by just self-teaching through online. So uh, let's get started. My favorite place to learn anything new, whether it be a different language or a coding language or even something that's not related to um, technology development is Udemy. It's amazing. It has really everything you wanted to learn under the sun there and I find there is so many amazing good quality um, teachers who are putting these program these courses out which makes it really enjoyable and um, kind of worthwhile to be going there however there is a little bit of a catch here Udemy does have free courses but also some of them you have to pay for the good thing is though Udemy does have a ton of different sales um, you know where it's like a $200 course is now $10 it can be very affordable in the end so don't purchase something until you see a good sale going on because it does happen a lot um, and it is worth the wait um, because the courses are really amazing so the one for um, kind of starting out in code and just really learning you know the basics it's like a structural foundation I would say is um, the web developer bootcamp um, I'll link it down below next one is code Academy it's a classic it's been around for what feels like a long time now and they produce some really great courses and content and some of them or a lot of them as well are free a lot of these websites I find have free options and then also to the paid versions um, not necessarily do you need to do the paid versions or are they better it's more so if you want to just continue learning in that direction that um, you know paying is required um, however, Codemy has the web development path, which really focuses on, once again, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, um, the basics, the fundamentals of front-end development, and they do a really good job of it. The course, I haven't taken myself, but I've heard a lot of positive um, reviews about it, and, you know, once again, it is a bit longer, but um, if you break it down, it's really not that bad. Okay, this is one of my personal favorites. I love Free Code Camp. I think they do such a great job of different lesson paths, but also to um, kind of breaking down the lesson paths. So, for instance, right now I've been working on the in Free Code Camp doing some of their more challenging algorithms. So, solving some of those kind of problems, and um, even doing one algorithm a day, I found to be so much fun. As far as challenging myself, like waking up first thing in the morning and um, doing that has been really, really great. Free Code Camp also has like, they start really from the beginning and they break everything down so intensively. Like, like it, they do a really good job and they're completely free. So I would definitely check out Free Code Camp. Okay, next on the list is, okay, so I'm from Canada. So I'm gonna tell you what we have here in Toronto that I, once again, I haven't gone to. I feel like I'm saying a lot of recommendations and I haven't done it, but I usually do parts of these courses or different courses that these websites such as Free Code Camp or Udemy have to offer. Um, I just didn't really start, I mean, when I started learning how to code before I went to uh, BrainStation, I did play around a ton on the computer and take a bunch of these courses, just like kind of bits and pieces of it. Um, but it wasn't really until I went to BrainStation that I fully emerged in it. Um, however, that's why if sometimes I'm like, oh, I haven't taken this, but I recommend it, it's because I've heard amazing things about it and also too, the website does produce so many different courses that are equally as amazing, so I know it's um, a reliable source. So the last thing I wanted to say was, um, here in Toronto we have something called, or actually in all of Canada, we have something, uh, Canada Learning Code, which is a website or an organization, you can go to their website and select what city you are from and they put on different kind of workshops for um, uh, all ages, all genders, um, everyone that wants to either learn code from scratch or you know has some experience and wants to learn a different skill set. So I would definitely recommend checking out Canada Learning Code. Um, they put on a lot of really great programs um, and courses. 
Also too, lastly, the really common question that I get asked a lot is, should I learn you know, a framework to start off with or just stick to like vanilla JavaScript, um, jQuery, and kind of go that route before learning a framework? And I don't think that there is a right or wrong answer to this. I think it really depends person by person um, or situation by situation um, to that answer. I personally uh, learned like vanilla JavaScript and then jQuery for quite a while before I learned um, React, my first framework. Um, but I also think, I've also heard so many people who, you know, jump right into a framework. Um, but I do think the problem with that is that it might be harder to learn another, if you just start learning and are learning with a framework, say for instance React, and then you want to go to Angular or kind of a very, like a different framework, it might be difficult to pick it up. Um, more so than if you had the basis of vanilla JavaScript down, just because you know that's not going to change. You know, um, even like with ES6, like learning the basics of that before picking up a framework, I do think is important. I don't think it's necessary, and I think um, you can really go either way. But I would recommend just starting from the basics and building a strong foundation and, and working up. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I uh, am really enjoying making these videos for you, so I hope you're enjoying them as well. And if you have anything that you want um, me to kind of focus in on or different topics, please let me know. Bye, guys.